trending to you viewers? Well, let's begin what's trending, shall we? 94 winners have emerged at the 66 Grammy Awards, which took place on Sunday night in Los Angeles, California. South Africa's Tyler won Best Music Performer category for our hit single, Water. And the Grammy goes to Water. Tyler. What the heck? What? Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. Like. I never thought I'd say I'm, I won a Grammy at 22 years old. Guys, like, I'm, I'm, if you don't know me, my name is Tyler, I'm from South Africa. And last year, God decided to change my whole life. So thank you so much to God. Thank you to my team, my family. I know my mother's crying somewhere in here. Um, thank you to the Recording Academy for this category. It's so important. And I know I'm forgetting some things, but I want a Grammy! Thank you, thank you. Well, congratulations, Tyler. But the question is out there. They were playing Felao. Oh, well, so Nigeria right. was represented. Nigeria was represented, <laughs> but that's the big question. Well, joining us now from Los Angeles, California, is a Rice correspondent, Shaito Atigari, to give us updates on music's biggest night. Well, I'll say good early morning, Shaito Atigari. How are you? <laughs> Good morning, OG. It's such a wonderful time to hear your voice. It's freezing. I know. I'm here about 13 degrees in Los Angeles, 2.30 a.m. in the morning. But uh, we, the Grammys are done and yeah. it's exciting times. I heard you talking about why were they playing Fela's Water. Now, that has been a huge topic of conversation mm -hmm. following the 66th Grammys because of the cultural representation. What is expected is when the winner is making, her, when the winner is making his or her way to the stage, that the person's uh, song is supposed to be played. And that speaks to whether really and truly the organizers at the Grammys actually know the difference between Fela's water and Tyler's water. But what's important is that Nigeria was represented and Africa was represented. And we could obviously see Tyler there, yeah. very excited, picking up a Grammy for Best African Performance at the age of 22. Absolutely, Shaito, you said it right. But you know, five Nigerians made the Best African Performance uh, category last week. We put out a poll and Davido was in the lead. Nigerians are disappointed, though, but of course, South Africans are jubilating over uh, Tyler's win uh, for that uh, song, Water. What do you think worked to her advantage over the likes of Davido, Burner Boy, Ashake, and our very own Arya Star? Honestly, this doesn't come as a surprise to me. I believe that Nigerians were really carried away with the fact that, you know, of course, Davido had a fantastic year with his album, Timeless. You know, there's some very big songs on there, Unavailable and the rest. But if you look at Tyler's Water, Tyler's Water broke records. In fact, in 56 years, she was the first person from South Africa who actually broke into the Billboard top chart, which is a big deal for Africa. So when you compare Tyler's Water to the rest of the songs in that category, it's no surprise that she, she won. And uh, a, a lot of Nigerians are, of course, upset because, you know, David Do, Bona, Ashake, Olamide, and even Ira Starr were on that list and they did not make it. But the truth is, when you have been nominated for a Grammy, it's always going to be in your CV. So going forward, David Do is going to be called, you know, Nomin Grammy nominated uh, artist, David Do. Uh, of course, it's a, it's, it's a huge disappointment, but I believe that Tyler definitely deserved this. And David also went on to, of course, uh, congratulate her and let her know that, you know, there are no, no bad blood, no hard feelings. And Bonoboy, even though he did not win, has now broken the record for the first African artist to have, the, to have that many nominations. He's leading right now with 10 nominations and one win. And of course, he took, he took the stage and he, he showed Nigeria in such a beautiful light and even did his performance with Brandy and 21 Savage. So that was a, a huge comeback for him as well, even though he didn't even win the award. Absolutely. Now, Shaito, we hear that uh, female energy uh, dominated the Grammys with uh, Taylor Swift making history by taking home the album of the year for, you know, her album Midnight and becoming the first artist to win Grammy's top prize for times, Shaito. I mean, amazing. She beat the likes of, you know, uh, male legends Frank Sinatra, Stevie Wonder, Paul, uh, Paul Simon, who had, uh, you know, three. What is your take on Taylor Swift? What? 
Taylor Swift has been breaking a lot of records recently. There's a running joke that Taylor Swift is solely responsible for about 30% of the American economy because she's been hiring a lot of people in her tour. She has a new movie that has just come out and she's just announced her new album. Of course, even though Taylor Swift won, uh, broke this record, I have to also talk about the other women that won record, uh, that won Grammys, uh, this evening we're talking about caesar billy eilish uh miley cyrus and even lana del rey and when taylor swift went on stage she actually went on stage with lana and she did say that it was the happiest moment of her life and she was just so happy to be there and to have broken the record and she also even joked about the fact that because she had collected the uh the win for the best pop vocal that night she had won a total of 13 grammys so she didn't just win break that record of you know four grammys and beating the rest of the guys Guys. she's now won 13 Grammys in total so she's inching very very close to breaking Beyonce's record at 22 Grammys in total which brings me to the um, to Jay-Z's speech that he gave tonight while he was collecting the honor on behalf of Dr. Dre he did call out the Grammys as well and said it doesn't make any sense why is it that Beyonce has 22 Grammys and has never won album of the year well it's one of those things where the Grammys have to go back to the drawing board and see how they represent uh, their nominees even better. Well, Shaito, you're doing fantastic. Kudos out there in Los Angeles. I can see you in the rain. Really proud of you. Thank you for representing Arise News at the Grammys. Well done. Well, I, I also understand that, you know, Burner Boy performed at the Grammys. We'll play that at the end of the show. But also, you know, congratulations are in order. Yeah, the U.S. Mission also, you know, put out a tweet. They wrote, uh, congratulations, Grammy nominees. They have won our hearts with their dedication to their craft, their passion for showcasing Nigerian music to the global audience and their exceptional imprint on the music industry. Keep inspiring us with your music. Please, can we put a round of applause for yeah, our Nigerian Congratulations, Nigeria. Nigeria.